welcome back to Loaves and Dishes. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most perfect wings in the air fryer. Before we get into today's video, hello, my name is Sarah, and I have been doing cooking or food content creation in some capacity for at least 10 years now, and I'm very excited to share with this recipe with you all. <laughs> uh, this is a recipe that I got from a friend of mine. Uh, they make the best wings and you don't need very many ingredients. I'm also going to be showing you how to make a buffalo sauce for wings and a parmesan, a garlic parmesan uh, sauce as well that you can dip or roll your wings in when they're done. But this is a super easy recipe. It's delicious and it's perfect for get togethers, a weeknight meal, or the big game. Before we get into the video, please be sure to subscribe. We are so so grateful for all of our wonderful subscribers. And if you want to be notified when we upload, be sure to click the bell icon. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm getting my wings out of the package and I've got my paper towel set up. For wings especially, and anytime really that you want something to get crispy, you want to make sure that you're patting it dry. You want it to be as dry as possible uh, because water will not let things get crispy if there's like too much of it. So. It's just a good idea to pat these dry, but I will say I've cooked these wings. I've made this like recipe a bunch of times and sometimes I've used wings that were completely frozen and other times I have used wings that were thawed out. And if you have a power powerful air fryer, um, it's not gonna matter as much. And especially with the Ninja Foodie, which I am just absolutely smitten with, uh, it's not gonna matter if they're frozen or if they're you know thawed like this so now that I've patted those dry I'm just gonna put them in my bowl so that I can season them and this is a crucial step when you're making wings I think you want to spray a little bit of oil and you want to use a neutral oil I'm using avocado oil and then you want to use the seasoning of your choice I'm using this Morton's nature seasoning I think it's great it's salt pepper garlic and onion powder um, and then I'm tossing it, spraying a little bit of oil, adding a good coat of seasoning, tossing it, spraying a little oil, just until like the seasoning is very well dispersed and um, evenly, you know, kind of dispersed throughout the chicken wing. You want to make sure that every bite is seasoned. And a lot of the seasoning is going to come off, a lot of it is going to stick to the bowl. Uh, and so it's best to use a little bit more than you think you need. And, you know, just don't be afraid to season things. It's it's really gonna enhance your food experience. So while my wings are in the air fryer, uh, they're gonna air fry at 390 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then uh, with my air fryer, I have a Ninja Foodie, and so I have a rack system. So once they've air fried for tw the, the 20 minutes the first time, I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna rotate them so the wings that were on the top are gonna go to the bottom and the wings that were on the bottom are gonna to move to the top, and then I'm gonna cook them again for an additional 20 minutes at 390 degrees. If you're using a regular air fryer, like one with a basket, what you'll wanna do is like flip the wings halfway through. So put them one way, let them cook, flip them. And during the second air fry, you just wanna make sure you keep a really good eye on them, check on them every couple of like, in about about halfway through just to make sure that they're not burning so now I'm going to show you how to make a buffalo sauce and a garlic parm sauce so let's get into that okay this is after the first round so these are going to go to the bottom and the ones that are on the bottom are going to come up to the top and you can see the ones up here are very done so when we move them to the bottom they're not going to get much more crispier but they will crisp up a little bit more anyway so I've got everything rotated and now I'm gonna close the lid. We're gonna change that to air fry and we're gonna leave it on 390 for 20 minutes. Okay, and I will check on these about, you know, 10 minutes in. Okay, so for my sauces, I'm doing a buffalo sauce first. I just take about half a stick of butter and I cut that up into pats because I'm gonna melt the butter in the microwave. You can do this in a sauce pot if you want to, but I just felt like this way would make less dishes. So I did about half a stick of butter and then I did about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of Frank's Red Hot hot sauce. If you want it less spicy, use less hot sauce. Um, and then I added some garlic and I added about a tablespoon of ranch powder. 
and to me the ranch powder is essential because it like really seasons it and it gives it like a really nice kind of ranchy flavor and this is a buffalo sauce that i can eat without dipping the wings in ranch i mean obviously dipping the wings in ranch makes it taste better but you know it's not spice it's not super spicy it's like just the right amount so then i'm taking for the parmesan garlic sauce i am taking the other half of the stick of butter and I'm gonna add some Parmesan. I only added about a quarter cup because sometimes the Parmesan, especially in the microwave when it starts to melt, it can get kind of gloopy and that's not cool. Uh, so I added some Parmesan, I added some ranch, I added some garlic and I added some parsley and you can just eyeball these things, go with what your heart tells you. I microwaved it for like a minute till the butter was melted and then I'm just mixing it up. And it's really that simple. And then I set it aside until I was ready to get my wings out of the air fryer. So. And here the wings are out of the air fryer. <laughs> they were perfect. They're so crispy. And so, and I just rolled about half in the Parmesan and half in the uh, Buffalo. And then the last two, I got kind of wild and I just rolled them in both because why not have more flavor? <laughs> um, and you could put this in a bowl and like roll it in a bowl, like toss everything together. And that would be easier. Uh, I don't know why I did this the hard way. I was hoping that it would keep help keep the skin crispier and I will say that if you put a sauce on it it is gonna make the skin a little bit less crisp uh, but that's you know to me it's kind of okay because the skin is like it's still really good and tasty underneath so but yeah that's pretty much it These wings are super delicious and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you try this recipe, please be sure to let us know in the comments and that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.